Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar Town Gaming. Today we are going in another edition of Is It Worth It? Because guess what? This is the PvP event of the century right now. This is Mid-Year Mayhem. As you can see, um, let me see if I have the, yeah, this thing. So you have the Scroll of Pillinal Ferocity. Now what that does is that gives you... <clears throat> 100% boost to all alliance points and experience points for from player kills. Now here's the thing. A lot of players are going to be in Blastrus, in Cropsford, or in Bruma doing these quests. Now here's the problem with that. Those places have gankers. They have people that are going to gank and are going to do... You know like all kinds of stuff now as you can see like there's already a fight out here in Cropsford you know they're probably fighting each other doing God knows what now a lot of the times what's gonna happen is people are gonna say well where can I go you know like there's there's only a couple places I could go yeah there is a couple places you could go um, right here is Shane and doll so Shane doll there's gonna be quests over here as well and then on the <clears throat> on this side uh, let me see if I can find it um, I know there was it's not river watch where is it I can't remember exactly where it is but I think it's uh, yeah it's Abbey of the eight I believe that's where it is um, I mean you, you guys can go like literally to blasters too but um, it's Abbey of the Eight. Now, over here, there is a little town, and we're, we're going to go to. It's on the blue side. So each alliance has a place they can go. And this is where a lot of players that, if you don't want to deal with people, I guess, you can go and get that taken care of. Now, you're going to say, well, what about... You know, if I want gear, well, obviously, if you want gear from Bruma or any of those places, then, you know, it's it's going to be, you're going to be a thing. But look, look at this. There's going to be quests right here. You see, this guy has a quest. This guy has a quest. And guess what? We're going to do the Black Daggers. So we got to resupply. Now each each alliance has these little towns in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Shannon Doll and Coral um, are some of them. And oh yeah, I mean the quests are a little bit further along. Like they're they're gonna take you a little bit far, but you're not gonna necessarily be close to the action unless there's a lot of action in the keeps. Um, but this is going to be able to give you a better chance and a better, um, I guess, a better way to turn these quests in. Now, remember, if you're out here and you're doing this stuff, keep an eye for that Colombian War Tort recipe. I highly doubt you're going to find it, you know, like in the last episode of uh, the last couple episodes of Is It Worth It? We talked about the Colombian War Tort. And I said it's just better to buy it instead of actually coming in here and like praying to God that you find one. So um, I'm still sticking by that. It is better to buy that recipe than to come out here and get it. But that doesn't mean that you can't look for it. See, it's going to have that little glow like the brazier here. So that doesn't mean you can't look for it. You obviously still should be kind of putting your eyes together. And making sure and say hey you know let's let's go get it now just because hold on a second guys hold on my dog decided that they wanted to do some stuff so I'm gonna bring her in for the I'm gonna bring her my foot. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is still gonna get uploaded. 
I'm not gonna start over again. So you'll probably hear. I was wondering what she was doing back there. <laughs> now she's looking. But yeah. So as you can see, it is a long trek. It is quite of a long trek. But it's worth it to just do this instead of the other quests. Because, or going to the other towns where there's people that have said they're going to be there ganking. They're going to be there ganking people. And not a lot of people know about these. So here you go. Oh. <clears throat> so we're going to place that supply cache right there. And we're going to go back and speak to her. Like I said, this is a little bit longer of a trek than the other quests from the from the fields, but if you don't if you the map is so hurtful and you don't want to go back and forth, like let's say that you're you're right here and there's no other keeps and then you gotta go to Bruma every time and there's people in Bruma or you gotta go to Velastris and there's people in Velastris. Just go, just go here. Just go over there. Like, it's not hard. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing by uh, Voldensprog place real quick. And I'm gonna see if it's there. Because it's on the way there. So that would be cool to go and smash some keeps, I guess. Is, is Voldensburg out? No, it's not out. So. But it'll be nice to, to get that on, on, a, on a video. But yeah. These are going to be a lot farther. So don't get me wrong. They are going to be a lot further down. So don't give up necessarily. It's, it's not the end of the world. It's okay. But this is a better alternative if you're getting stuck and people are like, oh, I'm going to come get you. You know, you're not going to be doing quests in Cropsford or Bruma and you're going to have to ride all the way. Like if you're getting gated or, wh or whatnot, you're going to have to ride all the way back. So is this worth it? Yeah, it's kind of worth it. Alright, uh, so this is the Voldensprog place. Now, I've never seen anything. Like, I've never seen them like this, so. So, it would be here, right? Yeah, it's not here. It's okay. We we wanted to, to go get them in the way. I think I might do a episode of is it worth it for that golden sprog like that hammer and just kind of go and see if it's worth it or not but as you can see we're back we didn't see anybody and guess what we get two of them tickets we got a reward container and it's still a thing so the reward container I can show you it has ooh, it has a lead so this is a lead and it has desert rose and then there we go so if, is it worth it to go all the way down there to Velastris or go to Bruma or just keep going back and forth only to get ganked if you're a PV -er that's just wanting to get your two tickets for the day um, and, you know, get some more, uh, you know, quest or two here and there. Is it worth it? No, it's not worth it to go all the way down there. But it is worth it to go to places like Coral, Shendal, which is over here, and 
there is, like I said, there is another place here. I think it might be Riverwatch. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, I know there is a place. But, uh, I mean, if you're, if you're over here, you might as well go up to Velastris. Like, the, it's, even if you're gated, like, it's there. Um, I think blue has the hardest time, per se. Uh, blue and red have the hardest time of getting to, you know, like, a good place. Because, like, we're, for Bruma, it's basically halfway each way but Cropsford and Velastris are relatively close to um you know to the AD side so I think that might be why there's not one down here I'm like I said I'm not 100% sure I believe there is another town here but I'm not too sure exactly which one it is but like I said if you if you're AD you can actually just go to Velastris or Cropsford and just try to your your luck there but uh, thank you again for watching. Make sure you to sub and follow. Hit the notification bell to get more videos just like this. Have a good day.